dear students today we are going to do a lesson of class 12 english textbook flamingo and the name of the lesson is poets and pantheists written by ashoka mitran a tamil writer ashoka mitran wrote a book my years with the boss in which he gives an interesting account of his days he spent many years with gemini studios and he gives an account of his days at gemini studios this lesson poets and pancakes is an extract from his book my years with the boss now the theme of this book is influence of movies on ever every aspect of life in india and this lesson poets and pancakes is an interesting account of events and personalities of gemini studios that is the members who were working at gemini studios now gemini studios was a famous film producing organization a famous film making company of early years of film making and this studios gemini studios was set up in chennai in 1940 it was a very influential film producing organization of those days now this lesson poets and pancakes describes about the members who were working in the gemini studios and ashoka mitran the writer was also a member of gemini studios and he was a very keen observer and he was well informed of all the members of the studios now poets here refers to the writers script writers story writers and lyric writers who were the members of the gemini studios and pancakes refers to the brand name of makeup material which was used by the makeup department of gemini studios in truck loads that is in large quantities in those days film in, in film making most of the shooting was done indoors only 5% of the shooting was done outdoors so for good effects in the movies thick makeup was done on the faces of the actors and the actresses so large quantities of this makeup material were used pancakes was a famous makeup material pancakes is the name of the brand uh, of this makeup material and it was used in large quantities and the writer even says that with the with this makeup on the faces of the actors and the actresses that is this makeup was done on their faces to make them look ugly so that they could give good effects it could give good effects in the movies so now this uh, uh, the writer describes about the first of all he gives us a description of the makeup department of the gemini studios he says that the makeup department of gemini studios was a small and stuffy room with mirrors on all the sides and two bright lights that is incandescent lights fitted over there and he says that the actor or the actress who was sitting on the chair getting his makeup done he would be in a very miserable condition because of the thick layers of makeup on his face because of two bright lights falling on his face and then these bright lights incandescent lights would be emitting a lot of heat so he said that the actor or the actress who was getting his makeup done would be in a very miserable condition he describes the fiery misery of the actor or the actress who was getting his makeup done then he says that the makeup department was uh, an example of national integration why because there was a variety of people working there variety of persons were the members of this department in the beginning it was headed by a bengali after that there was a person from maharashtra then there was an anglo burmese then many local tamils 
so so many people from various states of india were working over there so he says that the makeup department was an example of national integration before all india radio and doordarshan started giving their programs on national integration then he says in the makeup department there was a strict hierarchy that was followed how that is the chief makeup man did the makeup of the main actor and the actress and his first assistant did the makeup of the second actor and the actress and his second and his assistant did the makeup of the comedians and the makeup of the crowd was the responsibility of the office boy now next we come to the office boy who was also working there in gemini studios the office boy was not a boy he was a man in his 40s but when he joined the gemini studios he was in his teens he was still working over there but he was the most frustrated man among the members of the gemini studios why because he had joined the gemini studios with a dream that one day he would either become a director or a producer or an actor or a writer but he was still an office boy doing the makeup of the crowd so he was frustrated only because his dream could not be fulfilled now we come to the next member of the gemini studios ashoka mitra ashoka mitra is the writer what was his duty in the gemini studios to collect newspaper clippings and file them and everybody thought that he had no job but he was always busy in doing his file work and he was well informed of each member of the gemini studios and he was a keen observer so ashoka mitran everybody felt that he was not doing any job anybody who had any frustration like the office boy they would barge into his room barge into his cabin and they would vomit out all their frustration now after the show ka mitran we come to the next member of the gemini studios kota mangalam subu here is written as k subu kota mangalam subu was number 2 in the gemini studios he was a versatile man a man of multiple talents he was a brahmin he was lucky because he had got a job there and he was on number 2 he was a man full of ideas he was tailor made for films and if some director did not have any idea to do a scene or to enact a particular scene this man subu would come out with 14 new ideas so he had a fertile brain then subu himself was an actor he was a writer he was a poet he was a producer he was a director and he was always cheerful once he made a movie he was a, he directed a movie he made a produced a movie which was a flop but even then he was cheerful then this man subu because he was number 2 next to the boss he was the cause of the office boy's frustrations because the office boy's anger and frustration was always directed against subu because he said that this subu was not more educated than him subu was not so talented even then he is number 2 because he is a brahmin but then whenever he he would get a chance he would pour out all his anger on him so the office boy's cause of anger and frustration was subu who was number 2 in the gemini studios now we come to the next the lawyer there was one more person in the gemini studios the lawyer his name was in the story writing department and his duty was his job was to give legal advice to his to the members of the gemini studios but this man the lawyer always did the opposite 
Why? Because he never gave any wise advice to anybody. Rather, he spoiled the things and he only gave illegal advice. He would make a mess of everything by with his foolish acts. Once a new actor from a village joined the Gemini Studios and this lawyer, he just spoiled her acting career right in the beginning because when she came there, she was angry due to some reason and she was speaking loudly in anger and this lawyer, he recorded her angry speech and when she stopped, he replayed the recorded speech, replayed her recorded speech. When she heard her own voice in such an anger, she got so embarrassed that she left acting forever and she went back. So this is how this lawyer acted foolishly. Now this lawyer was also different from the other members of the Gemini Studios in a way that the other members they used to wear khadi dhoti and khadi kurta. They were Gandhiites. And this lawyer used to wear pant and coat. And his coat was a coat of mail because full of papers. So this lawyer, the member of the Gemini Studios, although he was a lawyer, but his name was in the story writing department. Now we may come to the next. The MRA. Moral Rearmament Army that came to Gemini Studios as Gemini Studios was their host. The members of the Gemini Studios were the host because it was a movement against communism and all the members of the Gemini Studios and the boss, the boss of the Gemini Studios was S.S. Vassan, right? So the boss was also against communism. All members of the Gemini Studios were against communism. So, Moral Rearmament Army was also a movement against communism. So, the members of the Gemini Studios were the host. Now, what was MRA? Frank Butchman's Moral Rearmament Army was a theatre group which came there in order to put up a show of their two famous plays. Now this was a theatre group, it was also called as an international circus because the uh, members of this group were from 20 different countries, 20 different nationalities and they were actors but they were not very good at their talent yet they put up two beautiful plays, The Forgotten Factor and Zotham Valley. And these two plays became very famous and they did these stage shows repeatedly and the stage settings of these two plays, their stage settings were later on followed for many years in the Tamil plays. So this rearmament, moral rearmament 